now that we have that location table, we want to create a new and improved sales fact table. So let's begin by clicking transform data to bring us back to the Power Query Editor. And we're going to do this by using Merge Queries, a brilliant feature of Power Query. And on the Sales Prep table, up in the Home tab, Merge Queries is on the end. And I want to click the drop down arrow so that I can specify to Merge Queries as a new query. I don't want to affect the current sales prep query because my location query is referencing it from the previous lesson. I want a new query which will be our sales fact query. Now in the merge window I have the sales prep table selected because I began the merge query from it. But then I have this drop down list where I can specify the location table. So what I want to do here is bring in the location ID from the location query or table so that in the sales table I can remove the location column and also the country column. And the location ID will be used to reference that data. So in the first query, I'm going to select the location column. And then in the second one, select the location column. Because at the moment, that is being used to join or to identify the data in the two tables. At the bottom of the window, it's just estimating my matches and has confirmed that we have a complete match. Now there are different join kinds available in here, which is not something we're going to get into detail with now. That information will be provided by a more in-depth Power Query course. But this is a very powerful feature with six different join kinds. For us right now, the left outer join is what we need. So if I click OK, that will perform the merge and bring the location table into this new query. Now with this table in the header, there is a button to expand the table data. So if I click on that button, it will ask me what fields from that table would you like? Now we just want location ID. So I'm removing location, removing country code, and also removing the original column name as a prefix. If I click OK, the location ID is brought into this table. Here it is. So I'm going to click and drag that column into position. And then I can select the location column, hold control and select the country code column, right click and remove them. Because now I have that index, that ID, I can use that to reference the data in the other tables. I don't need them in this big over 1 million row fat table. This is good practice. Keeps our model small and also efficient in respect of our speed of calculations. I now want to repeat that process for the product. I have a product name in here, but I want to replace it with an index number. So this time, I'm going to click on the Merge Queries button. I don't want a new one. This time I'm changing the existing query. So if I click Merge Queries, it will open this Merge window again. The current Merge 1 table is selected. From the drop down, I'm choosing Products. And the match will be the Product column in the first table, Product column in the second table. And that should return 
a complete match. There it is. I'll click OK to bring that table into this query. Expand the table and bring in only the ID column by click OK and then drag ID before product. It's not necessary to order these columns in this way. I just like the amount column to be the one on the end. I can now remove the product column because I don't need it anymore. That ID will be the reference to that information in the products table. I will rename that header instead of ID, which makes sense in the products table because it's about products. But now I'm in the sales table, I need to be more specific that that is the product ID. Otherwise that could get very confusing. So now we have three ID columns in this table. We have the order ID, the identifier of our orders, but then we have product ID and location ID, which are going to become foreign keys for the products and locations table. And we'll see that when we're creating our relationships in a few lessons time. We definitely need to rename this query. So on the right hand side, merge one is not very meaningful or creative. I'm going to call it sales. So now this is the sales table that we'll use. The previous one was just a, a staging step for the, the location table and now the new sales table. If I click on close and apply to now load this data into our Power BI model. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.